Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name's Chantel. This is my basic journey. And if you're new here, I live and travel in my minivan that I built into a single person camper with my little dog, Joey. We're currently in Quartzsite, Arizona at Scad and Wash, which is one of the many BLM areas that you can stay for up to 14 days for free. I was actually here in the last vlog, if you guys saw that, and I got to meet Bob Wells. This is the original site of the RTR, so a lot of the people who went to RTR still come here for the winter, and I've just been having a lot of fun. I got to meet a lot of people here, and I'm just going to be continuing on from that last vlog, so if you haven't watched it, you should go watch it. But welcome to my channel, and if you're new, please subscribe. So it's another beautiful day here in southern Arizona. It's supposed to be like 68 degrees is the high and it's breezy as you can see and probably hear. So I'm sorry about that. My tent, my tent, I just keep my mallet outside just because it just keeps falling down. And you guys, I've read so many comments like giving me suggestions like putting your stakes at a 45 degree angle. I have it tied on each side. <laughs> like I'm trying it all you guys. Okay, the stakes just keep flying out of the ground. Thank you for the suggestions. I, I swear I'm trying everything. <laughs> It just doesn't want to stay down, but I met somebody. Her name is Trish. So Trish, if you're watching this, you are awesome. But she was telling me about a tent that uh, she has that you just put rocks into this like thing that holds it down. I don't know how to explain it. She was going to send me a link, but I think I might try and get something like that that I could put up to have more shade because... You know, I'm out here in the Arizona sun, although I did make a nice little spot over here. I'll show you. This has been mine and Joey's hangout spot. As you can see, I already have my Gatorade over here ready for us to hang out for a little bit. It's a beautiful day. I love all these giant saguaros right here too. It's cool because I've met more people in Quartzsite than I have the entire time I've been on the road as far as like other people who travel full-time or live in their vehicles. I love it and I wish that there wasn't a pandemic so I could be more social and go to these gatherings and whatnot but honestly I'm just like trying to stay away from crowds which is why I came here the last day. I didn't want to be here the whole week because it was pretty crowded and now there's Schooly Palooza in the place that I just left so I'm, you know, it sounds like a lot of fun and it looks like a lot of fun, but maybe next year. Ties came undone, you guys. I just can't win with this tent. <laughs> uh, I have to figure out a way to be able to like secure the bottom down with rocks somehow. That's okay, I'm crafty. I'll figure out something.
good morning you guys so the Sun is right in my face sorry about that but on my morning walk I met up with Trish who I met yesterday and uh, Trisha invited me to a coffee thing this morning so we're gonna head over there I'm not really sure how they would feel about me filming it's kind of like a safe space and uh, I don't know how much I'm gonna be able to show you guys that but that's what I'm doing this morning we're going to like a group coffee thing don't worry I'll stay socially distanced <laughs> but that is what I'm doing this morning I'll try to show you guys a little bit of it I just don't want to be in their face with the camera so we're gonna go drink some coffee with some ladies okay you guys so I've been here for a few hours this was so awesome so here's a few of the ladies there but we're gonna go I need to make something to eat and uh, we're going to actually be meeting up tomorrow as well to do the same thing. It was so fun, you guys. I can't even tell you because I've been alone for the last, you know, six months <laughs> besides when I stopped to see my mom in Illinois. And uh, having like a group of strong women who are all out here doing the same thing, this was wonderful. Like I can't even explain how good for the soul this was <laughs> so I just want to say a quick thank you to Trisha Trishy thank you for inviting me and all the wonderful ladies that I met today oh my gosh this was awesome now that I'm back at camp I'm getting ready to do my dishes and somebody asked me how I do dishes so I figured I could just show you really quickly so I have like this collapsible silicone tub that I do my dishes in and basically I just heat up a little kettle of warm water and then I just put some cool water in here so that way the boiling water and the cooler water make like an okay temperature <laughs> and I just put a little bit of my Dr. Bronner's in there do my dishes and uh, this is safe for the environment so I'm not like putting Dawn into the ground or anything and then I just rinse them with cool water Once I'm done rinsing all of them off, I do dry them. I used to use paper towels, but I hated how wasteful it is, so I like designated an actual towel to dry my clean dishes. It's not used for anything else, and it just goes in my regular wash every single week, but it's how I do my dishes, you guys. I hope that helped, because <laughs> I've had so many people ask me how I do dishes, but I don't know. I just do it like the normal way, I guess. I haven't found an easier way than this. I've heard of people using like a spray bottle and just wiping it down with a towel afterwards, but that wasn't working out for me because, you know, food gets stuck on things. So I like my sponge and my Dr. Bronner's and a tub of water. It's what works for me the best. <laughs> Look who came to join me. Hi, baby. Oh, <laughs> do you want belly rubs? <laughs> yeah, is that what you want, little babies? Oh, bellies. It's his favorite, huh? Bellies are your favorite, baby Joe. Hmm. <laughs> How can you say no to that? You can't. <laughs> I'm 
So we have some Beyond Burgers on the lunch menu today. Lunch. It's like 2.30 in the afternoon. And I don't have hamburger buns or anything, but we're just going to put it on some bread. So Joey and I are going to go on a little walk. You ready, Joe? The sun's about to set. It's so beautiful out. Like, the temperature is just perfect right now. So I kind of just want to walk around. See where this adventure takes us. So it's getting pretty late and I think I'm going to end this vlog here, but I hope you had fun coming along with me the last few days in Skadden Wash here in Quartzsite, Arizona. As I mentioned before, this is the original site of the RTR and I had a lot of fun coming here and meeting new wonderful women that I get to spend some time with and it just felt really, really nice to have like some genuine social interaction and good conversation and it just it was really awesome so I am so happy that I decided to come here because I was really debating whether I wanted to or not because I knew it was going to be busier like as you guys can see from the footage that I showed you this is a lot busier than like most of the places that I go to unless if I'm going to like an RV park or something but I still had such a good time and I hope you guys liked it. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up, and if you're not subscribed yet, please do so below. I'll also put a link to my Patreon in the description box in case you guys want to check it out and help support my channel. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!